Hi, this is another edition of Doc Talk. In this edition, we're going to talk about the 10 top medical breakthroughs of 2013. Now, I'm going to let this natural reader um, thing read it to you because my pronunciation is so bad. <laughs> this thing's got to do a little better than I do. But, uh, I'm going to let it read it to you. Please let me know if you'd rather me read this stuff or what. So, um, here we go. Let's, let's give it a listen. A handheld optical scanner to detect skin cancer, bladeless cataract surgery, and an amazing new headache treatment are among the top 10 medical innovations for 2013 selected by a panel of Cleveland Clinic scientists and researchers. A surprising government program also made the list, unveiled at the clinic's medical innovation summit. To qualify, the breakthrough had to offer a major improvement in patient care, have a high probability of success, and must either be on the market now or be close to being introduced. Here's a look at the remarkable therapies and game-changing technologies expected to dramatically reshape healthcare and save lives over the next year. Number 10. Financial Rewards for Healthy Choices about 96% of Medicare budget is spent on treating people with potentially preventable chronic diseases. The bipartisan Medicare Better Health Rewards Program Act of 2012 presented to Congress offers a new approach to improving health and cutting costs. The three-year program uses the annual wellness visit Medicare already. Covered to motivate patients to improve six areas of health. The antibody mass index, blood pressure, diabetes indicators, vaccinations, and smoking. By saving Medicare money, participants who take steps to boost their health in these areas will be paid up to $400 after checkups in the program's second and third years. 11 ways to save money on health care. Number 9. Breathing mammography, Also called breast tunnel cytothesis, this new diagnostic imaging technology received FDA approval in 2011. It can be performed along with a traditional diagram for more accurate screening. The X-ray arm of the machine makes a quick arc over the breast, taking dozens of images at various angles that are then merged into a 3D image. Preliminary study results in 25,000 women report a 47% rise in cancer detection when tunnel cytothesis was used. Number 8. Modular stand for aneurysms. Aortic aneurysms weak, ballooning areas in the heart's largest artery are often fatal if they rupture. The preferred treatment for large aneurysms goes 5.5 to 6 centimeter in diameter or more is a minimally invasive procedure to insert and stent graft in the affected area, but stents currently on the market aren't suitable for up to 40% of patients due to their anatomy. A new modular stent now in multi-center trials allows surgeons to treat these complex aneurysms, thus saving the lives of high-risk patients. 7. Warning signs of a heart attack. Number 7. Ex vivo lung perfusion. Many people who need lung transplants can't get them due to a shortage of donor organs. Often because of complications that make lungs unsuitable for transplantation, these organs are only harvested from 15% of the sea's donors. The new lung washing technology ex vivo lung perfusion can reverse injuries in donor organs by treating them with proprietary fluid if needed medications to clear infections. Experts estimate that up to 40% of lungs currently rejected for transplant could be repaired with this technology, which is already approved in Europe and Canada. Number 6. In the second laser surgery for cataracts. Operations to treat cataract clouding of the eye lens are the most common surgical procedures in the United States and improve vision in more than 95% of cases. The new FDA-approved glazeless technology already used for lasting eye operations uses pulses of light lasting one quadrillion of a second of femtosecond for more precise cataract surgery. Not only is the laser technique more accurate than traditional cataract surgery with a blade, but it also causes less inflammation and provides more stability when doctors implant an intraocular lens. Number 5. Handheld Optimal Skin for Melanoma more than 76,000 Americans develop melanoma, the deadliest form of skin cancer annually, and 9,600 die from it. A new FDA-approved handheld device uses imaging technology developed by the military to guide the soul for non-invasive analysis of moles and suspicious skin areas. Light of 10 different wavelengths penetrates the skin, then computer software compares the findings to 10,000 archived images of melanoma and other skin cancers. In a clinical trial of 1,300 patients, the device correctly identified 98% of melanomas. 
Now, how did they do that? Um, use imaging technology developed by the military to guide missiles for non-evasive analysis of moles and suspicious skin areas? How did they make that leap of uh, working there? That's, that's bizarre. Wow. But let's let's continue. Number four, better drugs for advanced prostate cancer. In the past two years, however, five new drugs have been approved for advanced prostate cancer: sibutramine, denosumab, abiraterone, cabinetaxel, and enzalutamide. Many experts believe that these drugs and others in the development pipeline could ultimately turn advanced prostate cancer into a manageable chronic disease. Nine tips to prevent prostate cancer. Number three, mass spectrometry to identify bacteria. When a patient has a dangerous bacterial infection, if the rapid diagnosis and the right medication could be life-saving. In the past, culturing bacteria could take days. Mass spectrometry lab technology has made it possible to accurately identify bacteria in a patient's sample in minutes at a cost of just 50 cents. Number two. A cost of just 50 cents. Wow. And uh, instead of making um, number four there, advanced prostate cancer, instead of making it a controllable chronic condition, let's Let's cure it. My gosh, what's wrong with these people? They want a constant supply of money. They want you as a patient for life. Neuromopulation therapy for severe headaches. For patients with excruciating migraine or cluster headaches, a tiny almond-sized implant can block the feet without drugs. The nerve stimulator is placed inside a small surgical incision in the upper gum. Then patients activate the blocking implant with a remote control whenever they feel a headache coming on. In European studies, 68% of patients with cluster headaches responded to neuromodulation therapy with pain relief. Fewer headaches for both. The device is now being studied for migraines as well. Number one, battery under surgery to control diabetes. After noticing that weight loss surgery often help patients with type 2 diabetes reverse their disease often before they even left the hospital doctors. And that's bariatric surgery. Sorry. Began investigating this operation as a treatment for obese patients with poorly controlled type 2 diabetes. 2012 study results published in New England Journal of Medicine found in the medical world, says Cleveland Clinic. Compared to diabetic patients who received medications and lifestyle counseling, those treated with battery enteric surgery were far more likely to be free of diabetes and often lowered their cholesterol role and blood pressure as well. Many experts believe this surgery might even be a cure for type 2 diabetes. a cure for type 2 diabetes then that means that type 2 diabetes has everything to do with eating alone and how much you eat because bariatric surgery has to deal with the making your stomach smaller so that you can't eat as much food so uh, if they can cure type 2 diabetes by uh, making your stomach smaller, then they've been lying to us about a few things. Anyways, I'll put the link to this article down below. I hope everyone's having a great day and happy Sunday. This is the top 10 medical breakthroughs for 2013. And... This is Doc Doc. Have a great day. Signing off.